Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Uh, this is Leap Bake and Make. Um, I am continuing to get things ready for kids' college, and I finally decided to make my tie-dyes right now. Um, I'm not making them... Uh. So there's this stuff called urea or something like that, and I'm just not using that. But I feel like it's gonna be okay because we use cotton. So I'm just mixing the colors right now. Um, here's the fuchsia. I already did the blue. I think I put too much powder in here because um, it's a little clumpy. So here's the process. So right now, I'm making the decision of whether or not we're going to make green, purple, and orange. Um, and I think I have enough bottles, so we will. So I already did the blue. So there's two bottles of blue, two bottles of, these are a cup. So I'm just mixing them two cups each. These are the colors. I can show you what they look like. This is the fuchsia powders. Um, I only bought primary colors, so I only have red fuchsia and yellow um, because I really like mixing colors. I usually like mix my own nail polishes and stuff, something that I prefer, so I didn't want to spend money on other colors. Hang on. Here's the yellow. Um, so I will go ahead and make... I think I have enough bottles. So we have six bottles. Hang on. These are my bottles. I got them from Timu. So I'm gonna have one more red and then two yellow. And then let's see how many we have left. Two, four, six left. Okay, so that means two orange, two purple, two green. Perfect! I love it when life works out. So anyway, um, this is what I'm up to right now. We've had a really chill morning. Just threw some laundry in and dog's blankets. I'm getting anxious, but in the best way. See? So that's good. I did use too much powder. There's too much at the bottom. Um, and then this should be enough for kids' college for sure. And then we'll probably make more for kids' camp because we're going to be also tie dyeing there. Um, I remember distinctly learning how to tie-dye from a woman named Tie-Dye Tracy. Shout out to you in San Francisco. Uh, well, we weren't in San Francisco. She stayed at our house. She's from San Francisco. She's a comrade. Um, and she told me to use glass and metal. I don't remember why, but I am. <laughs> Uh, I also didn't know that these bottles were just a cup, so I'm really glad that that worked out. But two cups in this glass is two bottles, and that's perfect how you do. If you're not familiar with primary and secondary colors, let's go ahead and have a quick lesson. Yellow, blue, and red are primary colors. Secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. Um, so red, blue, and yellow make all the primary colors. And then I think if you go, so like yellow and purple would make brown. And I think like red and, I don't know, there's brown is in there somewhere. And then black and white are considered shades, I think. I don't know, that might have changed, but anyway. Um, tie-dyeing is mostly, I'm not good at like the tying part, like the rubber bands and stuff. I am good with the colors though. That's my strength. Yellow. You always want to do yellow first when you're tie-dyeing, um, because things can take off of yellow. So like if you put yellow and red next to each other, you're going to get orange, right? So yeah, when I tie-dye, it's kind of like a pinwheel. And I distinctly remember yellow always going first, um, always, because yellow will impact the other colors. And also you can't add yellow in after you add darker colors. Um, 
so it's easier to just put yellow first. So anyway, should probably work on how I'm going to teach this to children, but um, it's more about exposure. So I'm going to go ahead and make the yellow. Um, should we do that together, or do we? Is there a need to do that together? I'm just going to put a spoonful of this in my glass, add cold water, and mix it up, and then pour it in the bottles. Why didn't I feel like doing this the other day? Because I was going to use the urea stuff. That's the stuff you use and like you can soak fabric in like soda ash. I have those chemicals but they're chemically. So I'm deciding to not do that since this is for kids. Um, we are using cotton. Uh, cotton and natural fibers work much better than polyester. These dyes don't work with um, synthetic fabrics. They work with um, natural fabrics. So I made sure to get cotton shirts so that it wouldn't be a thing. And yeah, we're gonna make the yellow, orange, purple, and green, and I will be all done. Have a good day.